Hey everyone, this is Denny from TDB, bringing you guys in between episode number eight. And so with today's in between episode, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about um, a few things and not actually drink any tea. What we're going to do is talk about taste um, and the experience of tasting something and talk about meditation and how they intertwine. So meditation has a lot of associated baggage with it in terms of the cultural aspect of it, the religious aspect of it, um, all sorts of different associations. And for the sake of this conversation, I, I just want to push all of that to the side. Um, it's totally not relevant and and frankly, I think a lot of meditators will agree that there's no belief system involved in meditation. Meditation is simply a practice in the same way that uh, that playing guitar or practicing guitar is a practice. So practicing meditation is probably the best way to talk about it. But the effects of practicing meditation on your life can be profound and, and have consequence in other parts of your life. And a better word or a better phrase to you use is perhaps awareness training. Because really all meditation is doing by focusing you on your breath or by focusing you on sounds or on a mantra or whatever it might be that is your focus or your, your subject of attention, of awareness from meditation. But really those all that content can be a diverse amount of content in terms of what happens within consciousness but the ability to direct consciousness proactively and with concentration and focus is really what meditation is about. And there are a lot of insights and, and things like that that just simply we don't need to talk about right now. Um, because as it relates to tea, what's really important about how meditation impacts tea is the sensation itself of tasting something, of experiencing the flavors of something, of tasting it on your mouth. Um, of the intuitions that come to your mind about what it, what what does it remind you of, and so what I'd like to do with you folks right now, if you bear with me, go ahead and grab a cup of water, or a glass of water of some sort, uh, and literally right now do it. Pause this video. No excuses. Pause. Pause. Do it. Okay. Hopefully you've done this. If you haven't. Do it. Um, so what I wanted to do with you guys is to take a sip of water and let's do it mindfully. And all mindfulness really means is with a sense of concentration, purpose, and attention. So let's sit down and let's focus on um, what the experience of drinking water is. So right now, let's give it a shot. Cheers. So there's all of these physical sensations associated with drinking water, as well as sounds, um, and, and it's frankly a pleasurable experience. It's quite satisfying, especially if you're, let's say, really thirsty. Um, and in the same way, sitting down in front of your tea tray or your tea table or with a group of friends to have tea and share that experience together, you can sit down with the intention and the focus and the clarity of mind, your actual intention to really focus on the taste, to really let all the other things going on in, in your life subside. And it's, it's not the right way to describe it, because really, we're always experiencing emotions, states of mind, thoughts. Um, we're always having these sort of background experiences going on all the time, and we're constantly thinking. And it's not that we're going to try to stop thinking and just experience taste, but we're going to focus on what the experience of taste is in that moment and really kind of try to live into that moment with it. And that's one of the reasons why I love tea so much is beyond just being pleasurable, um, it's, this abil it's, it's the ability for me to take time out of my day to sit down and really focus my attention, really be intentional. And that's a very rewarding experience, actually, because if you can sit down and be intentional with tasting tea, it helps you sit down and be intentional with 
seeing a friend or with feeling your workouts um, or with observing the thoughts that you do have, however crazy they may be. And trust me, mine are insane, um, as I think most people's are. Um, so, but I'm totally nuts in here. Um, and so I, I invite you guys to use tasting tea as a form of meditation and to walk into, show up to the experience of, of brewing tea and tasting it from that attitude of concentrated awareness of the taste itself. Again, we, we're, not, we're not focusing on shutting off thoughts or not feeling emotions or not having a self. We're just focusing on dialing up this experience of taste and dialing down all the others. So give it a shot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your mindful sip of water. Um, and please let me know in the comments, this is a little bit atypical, but I'd love to hear you guys' feedback about meditation, about the experience of tasting tea. And maybe you guys take a few deep breaths, sit down and have a cup of tea after watching this, and let me know your thoughts. So until next time, this is Danny from TDB. Cheers. All right, what's up, tea friends? So uh, one final thing that I wanted to mention um, that I'll do with the, the backdrop of the world, um, maybe more appropriately, kind of around here, um, is some resources for if you folks want to go out there and actually try meditating on a regular basis and see how it uh, affects you. Um, so as someone who's a self-proclaimed you know, skeptic and secular and so forth, um, there are a lot of different places that you can um, approach meditation from. So you can use your own um, metaphysical background or whatever you want to call it. Uh, religion is usually the, the layman's term for that um, to approach it. So if you're a Christian, you can probably speak to your pastor or, or I don't clergy people about that. Um, but, but if you're a secular person or if you don't really care about the background of it as much, um, a really great resource is headspace.com. They have a really, really great uh, app, and I think it's online for free too at their website. And they have a program called Take 10, and all you do is you spend 10 minutes each day, and you take those 10 minutes and you get some headspace. Um, and I think the approach and the attitude that they use is really, really, really great um, because it emphasizes creating clarity of mind, that, that meditation is a goalless experience, that that um, that ceasing thought is is not the point of meditation, and a lot of things that I think people can get hung up on or um, get concerned about before giving a meditation a shot. I think that Headspace does a really great job of answering those questions. Um, so please, in the comments below, let me know. Let me know if you guys do meditate. If you don't, give it a shot. And tell me what you think. Maybe try meditating for ten minutes with Headspace, and then taste some tea and tell me if it's. Uh, any better or worse. I know that if you show up um, to the tea table um, or to anything in your life distracted and it's easy to do so, um, it's not as fulfilling. So the point of this video and, and hopefully the point in the experience that you guys get to take away from this is that showing up and having that clear sense of concentration, focused awareness and attention is really going to enhance your experience of tasting tea in life more importantly. Okay, because it's not about tea, it's about your life. So, um, but this is about tea. We're on TV. So with that being said, check us out on tv.org. If you like this video, subscribe. If you don't like it, get the hell out of here. Um, and until next time, cheers.